Hi, this is Jamie Angeli and welcome to the Flexible Dribble Drive Offense. In this DVD, we've taken two of the most popular offenses, the Flex Offense, over time one of the most popular, and now the latest Dribble Drive Offensive Concepts. We've taken both offenses, tweaked them just a little bit, added some new wrinkles, and put it into one complete offensive system that I think will really maximize your offensive scoring potential. The reason I came up with this offense is I really felt the dribble drive needed a bit more. I, I felt my teams were relying too much on dribble penetration. Uh, we needed some more cutting, some more screening action involved. So rather than just stop and call set plays, I think adding the flex continuity offense to it and some of the tweaks I've added to the flex you're going to see uh, go great with the dribble drive. And I think taking the greatest hits, if you will, from both of these offenses and putting them together are going to make you very, very dangerous on the offensive end of the court. I think it's important in any good offensive system that you make sure your players are in a position where they can get back defensively. Running this offense through a side to side will always keep players in great defensive transition should a missed shot or a turnover happen. You're going to be able to get back and stop the basketball. The reason why the flex and the dribble drive to me are such a great combination is because the flex gives you the opportunity to have an open post at all times and that means from a perimeter standpoint you're going to have lanes to drive so once the drive is there if it's not successful you're going to easily kick the ball back out and be able to stay right in your flex continuity offense and continue to i think in any offensive system uh, when you have pressure on the perimeter any good offense needs some pressure releases some back doors in this section, we're going to show you in the flexible dribble drive how quickly you can backdoor any type of switching denial defense to try to take you out of your continuity and make a backdoor cut again to an open post, an open backdoor lane. And if that's not there, we're going to quickly fill and then get right back into continuity. One of the things I really like about this offense is the ability to set up some good backdoor action. Defensively, teams will, against the flex like to do a lot of switching, especially switching the down screen action and trying to get a steal on ball reversal. With four dribbling the ball across, as you can see, we've already had five curl off that screen. X1 came off the down screen, X3 popping out to the corner. That action we've already showed you in our basic continuity. This is really what I like about this offense. Anytime uh, they want to bring a defender up and try to switch or whatever they can to deny this reverse pass, this is a great opportunity for X1 to backdoor. As you can see, three is cut out to the corner, five has already taken his man across the lane, so this backside area is wide open. So anytime as we're bringing the ball across the top, if we feel pressure, we're going to make that backdoor cut and look to make that pass to number one. As soon as number one makes the backdoor cut, sensing the pressure, the dribble pickup's always effective on backdoors. When X3 senses that, he's going to make an immediate cut and replace number one so we can stay in our offense. If X1 doesn't get the basketball popping out to where number three was, uh, if one doesn't get the basketball, uh, they're going to pop out uh, to the corner. And now you see three's replaced on top, and we can continue our offense from there.